Cormenton was a pianist, music publisher, and composer. One of the first Norwegian women to have her classical compositions published and widely performed, and the first woman to start a music publishing business in Norway. Her compositions largely disappeared from view until 2011, when boxes containing her musical legacy were discovered in an attic. Composer Theodora Cormenton had a gift for melody. She wrote music that was typical of the Romantic period in Norway in the 1880s. She was a singer and a pianist and the first woman music publisher in Norway. My wife and I were brought boxes of music. There were several of them. And at first we were looking through and seeing what you usually would expect, which is nice music from a, a bygone era. But then we saw this manuscript that had handwriting on it. It was beautiful handwriting. So then I called Bonnie over and said, Bonnie, look at this. And then I opened it, and there was this beautiful manuscript. And you could immediately tell this wasn't just someone who didn't know what they were doing. This was someone who was not a dilettante, some kind of professional or something. And you could see the name Theodora Cormenton. And we'd never heard of Theodora Cormenton, but we didn't expect to find original music in this gift that uh, the Nelsons had given us. She was the first Norwegian woman to run her own publishing business, and it was going very well. But then their home burned down in 1886, and later that year, the banks closed. What could they do? They had family that was doing all right here in the United States who had already immigrated. So they came to the United States, the two daughters and the 89-year-old father. My grandmother was Molly Helgerson Schmidt. She was married to the first director, the first superintendent of the Ossahaugen Home for the Aged in Decorah, Iowa. One of the residents that she met there was Theodora Cormontan. We assume that when Theodora died, my grandmother received her music. The music ended up in our attic here in St. Peter. We were finally selling, getting ready to sell the house and had to clean the attic out. And that's when I met Bonnie Jorgensen in the uh, grocery store. When she asked me, what are you up to? I said, well, we are cleaning out the attic. And just like that, the question popped out. So would Michael care to go through some music for us? Of course he would. I had no idea who Theodora was. The day after we gave Michael the boxes, he called me on the telephone and said, who is this? I said, what do you mean? Who, who is this person? Who is this? Well, these, I said, these things were all in my, my grandmother's attic. No, no, who is this Theodora? Who, who I, I didn't know. <laughs> it was a dream come true. It was really exciting to find this music that no one knew existed. Theodore Corman didn't write music in English, but I'm performing for English-speaking audiences, so I've had help with translating the music from people who speak, and then I write the lyrics, and sometimes I've written lyrics that there weren't any lyrics. It's very typical of what you would hear in 19th century Norway. It's during the Romantic period. A lot of people like Romantic music. It has pretty melodies, nice harmonies. It's music that's a lot, some of the greatest composers we think about when we think of Beethoven and Brahms. Those are all your Romantic composers. She was a soprano. She played the piano. She played the organ. She could compose for many instruments, but when she was composing in Norway, everybody in the orchestra was men, and men didn't think women should be writing music. So she wrote mostly what women were supposed to write in 19th century Norway, piano or voice and piano. Die 
I hope that people realize that she was ahead of her time and that she would have been more successful if her times were ready for her and that it really was a great thing that the music survived for 90 years until we were ready to hear her again. Yeah, yeah.